Hello, it's Melinda with Green Duck Sales. Today I'm going to show you a scrapbook page that I am going to do with the die cuts from, once again, the September Die Cut Club box, the monthly subscription box of the Die Cut Club. This is was the September's. And um, I just liked a couple of these elements. If you watch the video of all of the die cuts unboxing you would see everything that was in the monthly package but I already pre-selected my paper I picked this aqua color I thought it went well for like a back to school theme I have my grand I'm gonna put right here I've already cut down the papers I'm gonna use to map my pictures for when I have the pictures of my kids going back to school I picked gray to go with the aqua and so it would bring out some of the elements of the die cuts. Now I'm just going to adhere down. I'm using just my Scotch ATG for the backing of the mats. This stuff is fantastic because it doesn't really set down until you press it down. So I think I want it. The picture right there. I like the angles. Then I'm going to put my other mat down. This is a gray polka dot. trying to do this video while my kids are taking their nap so I can get a little videoing done. I like it overlapped. Yeah. I'm going to overlap but I didn't know how much overlapped. So I think She's a little bigger and I wanted to put her on that. So I'm going to put the bear, I think, here. And I'm going to use my trusty pop dots for the cute little bear. And I was thinking I always over pop dot and I was going to try not to over pop dot it this time but it looks like I over pop dot it again Woo. yeah I don't know what it is I just in my head which I know is quite scary uh, I think that if I don't put enough pop dots it's not going to sit right it's not going to um you know, one side's gonna droop and it's gonna fall down, and the other side will be all puffy. And I know, big dilemma in my head. So I try not to put overkill of pop dots, but enough to make me not worry that it's not gonna stay. Okay, so we have all those off. And one keeps sticking to my hand. Okay. I'm going to put this one up in the corner. Alright. There. Cutie. I think I'm going to put this one down here. Just going to stick it straight down because I think I'll pop dot her on top of the lockers, the lockers down here in the corner, and I think right there, so far, and then I'll pop dot her top of the lockers, like that, yeah, so here's my fine tuning again on pop dots, right? using the big ones 
Maybe I won't use as many as. Ah, oh, that's that's not very many for me. Four. Make sure I use the bigger ones. Take these little tabs off. kind of in between the locker on the lockers and the mat okay and add these little acrylic camp crayons different colors and I want them to cascade I think I'll do start with the blue there teal I guess that's not teal that's a light blue and pink, right? Light to light. Red. Back out to dark. And then my purple. Okay. And then I have this thin double sided score tape. It's a score tape, and this is, sorry, 1 18th of an inch. And that should hopefully I'm right handed so I'm trying to see that's what I love about this I can just put it on and rip it I don't have to get the scissors out and rip Two down, three to go. Oh no, so that adhesive stayed on my finger. And this one, and one more after that, right? adhesive is on. Put it right back down. Put it to the side. I might actually think because of spacing, I want to make sure the spacing doesn't run into her little ponytail. I'm going to start at the bottom when I put these back on. Alright, so I love the score tape. See how fast and easy it was to put it on? I think I like it that far away. And then I'm just taking the other side, ripping it right off. Oh no, that was the pink. Oh no! Well, luckily I did not put it down yet. So I'll just grab the red. Keep the pink on my finger. On my finger, on my finger. I know, I'm crazy. Spacing about, I think right there. I think that looks good everyone. I hope so because it's down now. Now the pink. And it's a little crooked. There you go. Light blue. This time I looked at both of them before picking it up to make sure I was grabbing the light blue. So I didn't have a dancing crown on my finger again and then the dark blue and look at how quick and easy that was to make a scrapbook page with the die cuts from monthly box there we go look at that one page down all the different elements what do y'all think there we go if you like what you see subscribe there will be definitely more 
of these videos with the die cuts from the die cut club and more scrapbook layouts uh, cards and then unboxings all right thank you for watching